Hello fellow builders, I'm thrilled to share with you my latest edition, a Star Wars inspired panel reminiscent of the intricate designs found in the Millennium Falcon. It's going to be installed overhead and angled above a screen for the ultimate viewing experience. Here is how I built it. Let's get started. You're not authorized in here. The creation process kicked off with the assembly of a basic wood frame. Then with Adobe Illustrator, I crafted a detailed two-part design for my panel. The design had to be split because my laser cutter has an 18-inch limitation, while my full panel spans 36 inches. So initially, I used wood for a preliminary laser cut, ensuring dimensions and openings for components were accurate. My assembly incorporates a mix of LEDs and various switches, I employed regular 5mm round LEDs nestled in holders and 1 inch tiles radiantly lit with LEDs. Staying true to the iconic Star Wars aesthetic, I painted the panels black with striking white pinstripes. So far, everything seems to fit seamlessly into my wooden frame. I conducted several tests to perfect the diffusion of a blue LED on a large 2-inch acrylic tile, and I was extremely satisfied with the outcome. The tile illuminated with an impressively uniform, solid blue color. I have prepped all my LED tiles and labeled them with the corresponding color they will display when lit. To create an optimal diffusion effect, I stacked acrylic tiles together, wrapping them in aluminum foil with the LED stick to the side. This setup facilitates easy installation onto the back of my panel. I have made a video on how to build the diffuse LED tiles. The link is in the video description. I have successfully mounted all my LEDs onto the panel. To minimize clutter and enhance the tidiness, I've run a single copper wire around all of them. This allows me to ground the LEDs directly to this copper wire eliminating the need for numerous ground wires that would otherwise have to be twisted together. It's a slick solution to keep things orderly. I also have a detailed video on how to do this. The link is in the video description. To operate all my LEDs and switches, I employ an ASP32, specifically a 38-pin version that's perfect for my project. For secure and efficient connections, I use housing plastic shells designed for Dupont wires. By removing the housing from one end of the standard Dupont wire, I expose the connector and insert it into the shell housing, resulting in a sturdy connector. It fits snugly into the SP32 pins, ensuring no loose wires and maintaining a robust connection. To assist me in planning the connections to the SP32, I employ this user-friendly pinout chart a helpful tool that simplifies the task considerably. You can find the link to the chart in the video description below. Take a look at the complete wiring of one panel. While there are numerous wires involved, only a single wire is designated for the ground connections. All the others are for the power or the data lines. Imagine the sheer volume of wires we'd be dealing with if each component required its individual ground wire. I program each panel individually. The integrated code contains a HTTP server capable of handling requests. I've also incorporated the ability to wirelessly update the panel's ESP32 code by uploading new versions via Wi-Fi to the panel. I put one of the panels through a test using a 5 volt power supply and it performed flawlessly. The total power consumption was slightly over 100 mA, which accommodates the power requirements of both the ESP32 microcontroller and all the LEDs. And now a final test on mounting the panels on the frame. It's not perfect, but it looks amazing anyway. And there you have it, a brand new Star Wars panel elegantly positioned over my screen. It's an impressive start, but the adventure continues as I need to fill in the surrounding spaces with more Star Wars panel and a variety of exciting Griblies. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates, and if you enjoyed the video, 
show your support by hitting that like button. Thanks for watching.